Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm predicting the 2024 FIFA Intercontinental Cup. Well, the rest of it, because of course we've already played one game of this tournament that got popped up on me with this new schedule out of nowhere. Couldn't do the game between Alain and Auckland City. We will talk about that a little bit when we predict, but the rest of the tournament, round two, the qualification final and the cup final, we will talk about and predict, but I would have predicted Alain over Auckland City anyway, so I think anybody would have. So with that being said, I guess that wasn't that bad of a miss, but it's a brand new format. All the games have a name. All the games technically have a cup connected to them, which is interesting, but one of the two games that qualify to the Challenger Cup plays later this month, and this is the last off day I have before that game, so we will predict this tournament, and that is the Africa Asia Pacific Cup, Al Ali of the African Federation CAF plays Alain of the AFC, the Asian champions who had just beaten Auckland City. Funnily enough about that game, Meyer Bevan scored one of the two goals for Auckland City, the man who used to play for Calvary, who people say are the biggest rival of the club of the shirt I'm wearing, Forge. So he was in the CPL. So that's crazy. And then the last goal by Alain was scored by Kaku, former Red Bulls player. Some of y'all pop at that mention. Some of you, I don't know. But two CONCACAF legends scored in that game. I guess you'd call them legends, but whatever. So this game, Al-Ali versus Alaheen. I got Al-Ali winning. Al-Ali winning this match. I think they have the better setup squad. They always go deep. They always find a way to win matches in this tournament. In this type of tournament. I don't know how they'll be in the big Club World Cup next summer. I hope they play well. I would love to see it. But right now, Al Ali, they're a good team. They're a very good team. And Al Ain, they have players. They've played well. They have a good system. But to me, I do love seeing Al Ali play. They know how to win games against teams that are equal or near to them. And I think they just have a little bit more experience that leads to them winning this match. Al Ali moves on to the Challenger Cup. The Derby of the Americas, the Derby of the Americas, the CONCACAF champion Pachuca will be hosted by the Bowl champion in Qatar because it's being played right before the Challenger Cup, three days before, and then, of course, the Intercontinental Cup Final, all three of those games being played in Qatar, because the Copa champion gets found out way too late to actually have them host. Because at first, for the format, it was supposed to be the drawn champion host this year of the two, the next year the CONCACAF champion would host. That changed. I don't like that. I think it's sort of a punch to the gut that they have to play in Qatar, but I guess you don't want to give them jet lag before they have to fly over and basically only spend a day there and then have a harder time against the winner of the Asian Africa Pacific, Africa Asia Pacific Cup. I, I get it. So they're already there. But the Conmebol champion will either be one of these four teams. River Plate, Botafogo, Atletico Mineiro, and Peñarol as your four Conmebol teams. Honestly, I got River winning. I got River winning the Libertadores out of those four, which means, in my prediction, it pretty much is River versus Pachuca. I have River Plate beating Pachuca because Pachuca has looked very shaky since they've won the Champions Cup in CONCACAF. They've definitely not looked the same. They have not. They've lost to Toronto FC in League's Cup. They've sort of stemmed the tide recently, but they're not the world beaters they were six months ago by the time that game is played. Who knows? Maybe they'll become that after this prediction's over, but um, 
I have River Plate beating Pachuca. They look really good right now. They look like those guys. They look like a good team there. I got River Plate beating Pachuca. The Conme Bowl champion beating Pachuca, but in my book, I think it's going to be River Plate. River Plate moves on. The Challenger Cup. Al-Ali versus Conme Bowl champion slash River Plate, but I just have to say that to cover my ass. The Conme Bowl champion part. I think it's going to be River. I think most people think it's going to be River. It is what it is, but for me... I have River Plate, Conme Bowl champion, beating Al-Ali. I do believe Al-Ali has a better chance if it's Botafogo, Peñalol, or Mineiro. I think they have a better chance in that case to win the game. So if that's if it's a different Conme Bowl champion than River, I honestly lean towards Al-Ali at varying degrees. But River Plate, they're the first seeded team in the Copa. They're looking like the best team in South America right now. They look like River Plate. I'm going to go with River Plate, which means the Intercontinental Cup Final is the Colombia Bowl champion slash River Plate, but if it is the Colombia Bowl champion, it will be River Plate, in my opinion. Versus Real Madrid CF. Come on, what do you think I'm going to say? Real Madrid. Real Madrid wins the Intercontinental Cup. Because why wouldn't they? It's Real Madrid. They've been struggling somewhat this year, but they're still Real Madrid versus a team outside of UEFA. Yeah, sure. If Real Madrid doesn't do it, I would be shocked. Real Madrid wins the Intercontinental Cup. So with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification one, subscribe, send some chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put us to playlist, share with friends and family, all that great stuff. I will be live for Ala Levers, Alain. When that happens, I think it was the 29th, I think. It's not the 25th. Yeah, I think it's the 29th, something like that, but it's happening of. No off days up until then. That's why I'm doing the predictions now. But I'll be live for that game. Don't worry. I won't miss this one. Wow. Also, tomorrow, let's bring it back to closer times. Tomorrow, I will be live for CF Montreal versus Atlanta United FC in the Eastern Wild Card matchup of the MLS Cup playoffs. We're ready to go. Wednesday, I'll be live for Portland Timbers versus Vancouver Whitecaps FC. I'll see how they write that one out. I'm not sure, but it will be in Portland no matter what. Live review for that one. Live review for Atlanta, Montreal. Thursday, I will be live for Chelsea. Panthinaikos versus Chelsea in the Conference League. I will review that match. Then I will be live for a Caribbean Cup game. Then, after that, no RSR for that game because I will do the recap of the wild card matches and predictions of the round, the conference quarterfinals. So, with that being said, there you go. That's what that looks like. So, with that being said, I will see you tomorrow evening. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you.